Hello guys, how are we going? So we're back again. It's a bit of a rainy day out there today, so we're doing some maintenance and stuff on the um, P100 here. Um, so we're going to go through on this video pretty much uh, the basic sort of maintenance to do on the P100s. They are a lot better than the older systems. They, they've made them a lot less maintenance free kind of uh, setup, but in saying that you still do need to check things, you do need to go over and just check a few bits and pieces. Um, and you know, after a few thousand hectares, you might need to replace bits and pieces. But we'll go through what uh, what we're doing here today, um, and you know what we found. Uh, this one's probably done a few thousand hectares now, so what we found needs to be replaced or looked at, and those sort of things. So first up, um, we'll go through probably the main things that we've found on these is on the ends of the actual motors where the motor goes back to the power to the ESC. So you'll see. I'll bring you over one that's complete here at the moment. So over here, you'll see that's how they look like from standard. Uh, they've got the red cover on them. Uh, if you take that red, the big red rubber, uh, rubber cover off, you'll see it's one of these here. It exposes these wires here. So these are the main power wires that go to your motor. So they car carry some serious current, obviously, because they um, they do a fair bit of you know they push a fair bit of current into the motor to make it fly. We find check these terminals here. So these three main terminals here, it's good to check them. Um, what we found straight from the factory, we found, I don't know whether they, the Loctite on them isn't strong enough or something like that, but after probably 50 hectares, check how, if they're loose. If you don't want them coming loose, if they come loose, you'll probably arc out and you'll have issues with uh, the motor. So just check that they don't come loose, those main terminals there. We recommend taking taking them off, putting a bit of a better Loctite, like a 246 Loctite on them, uh, and then they'll stay on there a lot better. So check them at least, you know, every 50 hectares pretty much. Uh, we're finding though, once we put that newer Loctite on there, they, um, it, you know, they're not coming loose pretty much. So um, that's a major, major thing definitely when you first get it is to keep an eye on them. Um, in terms of the props, we haven't really had any issues yet with the props at all. Um, you know, the older ones, we were constantly replacing washers. Um, we haven't replaced any of these washers yet. They still feel and look brand new, the actual props. Um, you can replace the washers after a certain amount of, you know, if you want, you can just buy the washers. Uh, I think, you know, we might do that shortly on this one just because, you know, it's done quite a fair bit of work. There's nothing wrong with them yet, but it's just good to keep on top of that. Um, the actual motors in the actual inside there, uh, the only issue we've had with the motors is um, we, we spray some pretty corrosive sort of stuff and we're finding that the, um, sometimes if we're washing it down that corrosive stuff can sit in on the bearings. So XAG recommend now once you wash it down try and get like a little air blower and blow the actual um, water or if you're spraying corrosive stuff blow it out of the motor so it doesn't sit on the bearings. In saying that, the bearings are quite easy to replace. We've replaced one in there because, uh, or a few of these, just because when we had that corrosive stuff, it wore out the bearings. Um, they're very easy to actually replace on that sort of thing. You can get the parts from any bearing shop on that. Um, so that's the actual in terms of that. So as long as you give it a good wash, you shouldn't have those issues at all. Um, what else have we got here? Um, in terms of the actual nozzles over here, um, you'll find a big thing here is um, these clips, I'll tuck that bit of tape back in there, these clips they can eventually wear out. We try and recommend when you are folding these back up when you're seeding or something like that, loosen off that, that little, that uh, you screw at the back there, otherwise they will, um, you can snap those little tabs off that, that place it in, that you know, that hold it in place. Um, so yeah, it's good to just uh, make sure you loosen off them as well. Um, the P100 has been really good in terms of nozzles and everything like that. We haven't had any issues or anything with them yet. With the actual um, anti-drip valve in here, um, we have had an issue where whether we haven't cleaned it out or something properly. Um, so it's always good to flush it out, otherwise you can, you know, some crap can get um, lodged up in that anti-drip valve and it stays shut. So just make sure when you are, you know, spraying, whether you're painting greenhouses or something like that, something thick, just make sure you flush out your lines after you've used it. Um, I think that's most of it on the nozzles. Uh, over to the batteries now. Just lately we are finding, um, we are getting some crap 
that's building up in the actual terminals on the batteries. So there's a few ways you can really, I don't know, go about to clean them. Um, just make sure you keep your terminals on your actual drone clean. Um, and you can also take these apart and also clean them as well, worst case. But that's obviously after, you know, a quite a fair bit of work. So they can build up crap, obviously, you know, dust and paint and everything builds up on that. And then you'll, you know, you won't be as good contact. So it's good to just keep those contacts clean on that as well. Um, the pumps and everything like that, obviously they're all peristalic pumps. So you don't need to worry about uh, impellers or anything on that. They're really good. We haven't had any pump issues yet. Uh, there is a filter inside the actual tank. You can take that out and give that a clean. Um, it, as well as it's good to on on the actual arms if you come in here you'll see on where the arms go into the actual aircraft you've got rubber little if you have a look in there you'll see all the main bolts in there that actually hold the arms in it's good to just you know every oh, I don't know 100 hectares or something like that a few hundred hectares just check those bolts are still tight um, and there's no issues on that sort of on them it's good to go over the whole aircraft and just check that um, you know, because obviously the things do vibrate. Um, so it's, yeah, just good to just go over it every now and then and check. But in terms of, you know, w these ones have been really good uh, compared to our older ones. Uh, a lot less maintenance, a lot, you know, it's a lot, you can just send it out uh, and feel very confident that it's gonna do the job um, and do it well. Anything else you can think of, Mick? That's pretty much most of the basic sort of stuff, I guess. Um, but yeah, feel free if you have any other questions, flick them through and um, yeah, we can go over most of it, I guess. All good. Quick and easy.